All right, so compound inequalities, ladies and gentlemen, are just the um, inequalities that you can put together to make just one statement instead of saying a couple of things. Okay, so you can say x is uh, greater than 7 and x is uh, less than 12. Okay, and what you can do is you can, it's like a mashup. You can mash those together and you would get 7 is less than x which is less than 12 and that's a compound inequality now the same thing is also true for the reverse is when you see a compound inequality you can break it up in two parts now you do need to break it up into two parts that do have an and next to each other so you have to be very careful with that okay now the most things that uh, people are going to the, the biggest thing that a lot of people are going to sit there and go how do I how do I solve something that actually has an equation? Like let's say five is uh, less than uh, three x minus five, which is um, well, it's two four three less than or equal to twenty. Okay, something like that, and they go, oh well, if I only had to deal with the right or the left half, I'd be fine. So in other words, if I had to deal with this, I'd be okay. If I had to deal with this, I'd be okay, but I have to deal with both. How do I do that? Okay, so how do we deal with that? You can do it one of two ways. Uh, you can treat this just like an equation. Okay, so I got 5 is less than 3x minus 5. Uh, well, 2, 4, 3, 20. Okay, and when you solve it, you can add 5 to both sides. Okay, so we get 10 is less than 3x, which is less than or equal to 25. Okay, and then what you can do is you can solve both sides by dividing by 3 all at the same time. Now, if we did divide by negative 3, you would have to switch both inequalities okay so 10 thirds is less than x which is less than 25 thirds okay oh that should be less than or equal to oh, 2 4 3 okay so you can solve it that way or you can actually break it apart into its two separate parts 5 is less than 3x minus 5 and 3x minus 5 is less than 20. Okay, now you'll be surprised to know that when you get down to solving it and get everything all taken care of, 10 is less than 3x. It's going to look very similar to what we just did. So 3x is, okay, and so what you're going to get is 10 thirds is less than x and x is going to be less than 25 thirds less than or equal to okay All right now when you guys are working with this stuff and you're sitting there going okay which one do I write they're both they're both equivalent so please understand that when you're writing out these statements I don't care how it's received I just need to you to understand I, I need it to be received okay now if you're writing that a number is between two other numbers I would prefer this method on the left okay but if you're just solving a regular equation it doesn't give any specifications either one of these ways will work okay and that's it for compound inequalities. Uh, when you oh shoot, I did talk about this a little bit before, but I do want to talk with it about it now. It is talking about compound inequalities and graphing. Okay. Now let's say, uh, well, this problem it's going to be in between, so it's pretty simple. So when you graph it, you're going to have a number on the left, open circle, a number on the right, closed circle, which is going to be the 25 thirds, obviously. 
okay and the line is going to be in between why does it work that way okay the reason why it works that way is because of two things and and the fact that we already have our inequalities here so this is basically saying where are the numbers that are in between 10 thirds and 25 thirds including 25 thirds okay all the numbers less than 25 thirds are to the left all the numbers to the right of 10 thirds are bigger than 10 thirds okay and their overlap happens in between the two so that's why we only care about this part okay all right now if we had them going in the opposite directions okay so let's say we had something that looked like this oh coloring in with your mouse is not the best okay now if they went this way the only way you could actually say this now if this was an and statement if the and statement was here we would give no answer because no answer satisfies it okay if we drew that picture now if we had an or statement uh, ors are easy because you just have to graph as is okay All right so that's pretty simple okay now if this was right here if this was and this would be straight up and okay now if this was an or statement this number line right here for this first one that we just did okay that would be everything you would just color in all the entire line okay alright so you would cover in the entire line alright and that would be or if you had the arrows you know going like this now you would have to worry about the less than or equal sign when you're working with uh, the and statement but with the or statement you would just you wouldn't even have because it fulfills one of them so okay now what if they're both going the same direction okay so let's say we actually had one a number line that looked like this okay and let's say we had a number line and I'm just posing this problem okay they're both both arrows are going both this way okay so if it was and your graph would end up looking like this so I'm going to use a different color line to represent the intersection so you would start here it would be an open circle or closed depending on which one you had All right? and it would be all this information over here okay so I would what for and once again I'm looking for the intersection of the information which happens over here okay now if I were doing or okay my graph would actually look a lot different so for or okay let's do a different color Okay, now, or I would just start back here, and I would graph everything above it, in this case. Okay, so everything above. So, and and or, they do differ a little bit. So, or, we would care about where does it start, and then we would graph all the way to the right. Okay, so and and or when you have the different situations, you have to be very careful in how you graph it on the inequality line. All right, thank you guys very much and have a great day. Bye.